Hi guys, Todd here. I'm going to be having a look at a mechanical mod today. This is called The Vandal uh, by Classic Fog. Uh, Classic Fog, uh, I've done a review for some of their gear in their past, which uh, sure, it's a very nice little mod. Um, this is a 26650. And it comes with two top caps. You got your your standard, you know, for your thirty mil, and you up where's it gone, and you get your little slope one as well. And I'll show you that in the close-ups. Gonna have a little vape. <laughs> Sorry, I should leave these shots till the end, but. Uh, uh, this is quite a, this is quite an impressive little. Well, when I say little, it's a twenty six six fifty. It's quite an impressive device. It's nothing that's going to set the world alight in design or anything like that. And uh, you know, there's nothing really to say. You know, well, I must have one because it's completely different to everything else I own. It's not like that. It's just that it kind of comes together. Anyway, let's show you. It. So here we go, uh, this is, you know, stainless steel, got uh, two top caps, brass contacts, uh, I've actually got copper and brass contacts here, uh, we've got a little copper pin in there and a brass outer adjuster, uh, we have our little firing button in there, so here's the bottom of the tube, now you can see that this doesn't unscrew, you know, to get in the switch out I'll have to unscrew it down there which I will do I'll show you that but uh, it comes with uh, this little logo on it and you can see you've got a cut out there for venting now it vents when uh, you know it's in the sitting position when you push it and fire it there's no venting but it vents once it lets go uh, I do I, you know I kind of like this I do like this there is no locking switch as such but uh, you can hear it there, it's quite... It sounds quite noisy, but once you've got a battery in there and you're just... It's not noisy noisy, but, you know, pushing it like that, you can hear it. Uh, now, the, the overall, the strange thing is it's 29mm in diameter, and a total overall height of 92mm. Uh, I find the 29mm strange because I would have preferred it if it was 30mm. I really would have preferred that. But you can see the ridging going on here. And it does give it a bit of a distinct look. On the caps we do have Vandal and Classic Fog inscribed on there. And, you know, we've got our, our flat top cap and our 22mm one as well. If I wanted to change it over, I would just unscrew the whole thing. I'd just take the Dell and insulator out, like that, and just pop it in there. I'll just, I'm going to use the, the flat top one here, so I'll just pop that back in. So basically you take your atty of choosing, screw that on, and then just do up your adjuster. Then, just using your nail or whatever, you can then take this little guy here, and if I hadn't been biting my nails, I would be able to unscrew this better. So you can unscrew that little pin in there, and that'll come out further. Uh, and I haven't had any hassles with any batteries at all. Uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> it works well. Now I'm going to take the switch out and show you it off. So I just drop my screwdriver down here. Out comes my little contact. Copper. And with any luck, out she comes. So you can see here that we've got a uh, big magnet sitting in the bottom of there and a big magnet sitting in there. And it's as simple as that. There is a little o-ring around the bottom there, you know, a spacer, uh, you know, stop your battery making contact with the base. Now the easiest way to put this back together is to just, I mean, I would strongly suggest that you do it this way, but try and get your screws central and hold it tight in place like that but try to actually screw it into the switch 
when the, the switch is actually on is quite hard because you run the risk of cross threading and because it's you know a really soft material going into a hard material that's not something you want to run the risk of doing so be very careful when you're putting this back together tighten that up push the button in a little tighten and that's me good to go I, well, I will admit I'm not a fan of having to go down into the switch like that uh, but uh, you know it reduces conduct it improves conductivity because you've no threading going on here uh, it's just one tube if you like take my 26650 pop it on there and then screw this up. Now, this is another thing that I'm not a fan of. It's got a lot of threads. So I need to adjust this bit. It's got a lot of threading going on there. Uh, I mean, and fair enough, I mean, you only have to do this a couple of times. It's, it's no big deal, but uh, you do notice that over other mods, it's got quite fine threading and you know, if you want to adjust, you really do have to just keep going and going. So there we are. The classic fog, 26650. And that's the, the Mambo, the armour, uh, that's on there just now. Now this is where this little guy kind of shines here. I, I'm using this uh, box of tricks uh, that I have for testing voltage drop and whatnot. And I, I just... I'll actually I'll put the numbers at the bottom of the screen here just now but it, it, I could do two voltage drops in a 1 ohm and a 0 0.5 ohm listen this 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 is a discussion that will go on till the end of time there's a lot of people myself included yes I've got a box of tricks now this seems to work very well but I'll be completely honest um, I operate and I've discussed this before on how it vapes. Uh, a lot of people want to know numbers. Um, if I push the button and it lights up and I get a good vape, hurrah! Happy days. If you want to know the numbers, you now know them for this device. Um, and it seems to perform very well indeed. great actually and 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 you know that's the, that's the, the key thing about this device is that it performs exceptionally well it's not the it, I actually think it is quite a beautiful thing I like the design of the tube um, I like the logo in the bottom the the magnetic switch seems to work you can push that button anywhere it's got quite a short throw Yes, it doesn't have a locking ring. That may be a major negative for some. It doesn't bother me because who's going to put a 26650 mod in their pocket unless they're out at a nightclub trying to pull. The fact you get the 22mm cap with it as well, no thumbs up for that. You are going to have to remember brass and copper contacts, you are going to have to clean them on a regular basis because uh, that will severely affect the performance if you don't clean them. And getting in there to have a long screwdriver and mucking about be oh so careful when you're putting that screw back into the switch. If you're screwing it in and it's not going in buttery smooth, stop. Unscrew it and start again. Because you're going stainless, you know, you're going soft material into hard material, so that's where uh, things can go wrong. Uh, so be very, very careful. And I would probably say that's a negative as well. It's 160, I mean I'm actually, I'm on the pinkmule.com just now, uh, just checking it out there, uh, and it's £116 from Pink Mule. Uh, do you know, yeah, I pro do you know, I, I probably would buy this, uh, mainly because I do like the way it performs, and, and I, I aesthetically I do like it, I like the, the ridges going on here. It may not be for everybody, as it's all things in life, but uh, I do like it and I don't think you would be disappointed with the way it performs. One last little vape and then we'll head off.
that is a 50-50 that I'm vaping there and yes it's goose juice. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to the Classic Fog guys for sending this on. I did get this free for review. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, go along to their Facebook page and there's a few places where you can buy this from. Pink Mule just being one of them. But uh, as always, thank you for putting up with me and uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye now.